Hello, homesteaders and health nuts. I just walked into the kitchen to find this setup. Here's Mama Sue making a new type of sheep cheese. What are you making, Mom? Well, new for me. It's called paneer, and it's used a lot in Indian cooking and Afghanistan and so on. It's a raw, soft uh, cheese that you can flavor in different ways. So I started with two quarts of Katie's hand-milked sheep milk. And actually it's very simple, hopefully. So I brought it up to 88 degrees and then I, all cheeses need an acid. This one's very simple. You can use lemon juice, lime juice, da 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 da, or a vinegar. And that makes it curdle. So I started with, I juiced a half a lemon. Some recipes said a third, some said a half. I have more if we need it. And it just happens that my new seedlings in the greenhouse, something I planted, is lime basil. So we're going to add basil. And I'm going to use uh, pink Himalayan sea salt at the end to flavor it. You can flavor it with any thing you want or don't flavor it at all. So it has been eight minutes. So we're going to lift this up and see if the whey has separated from the curd. And no, it hasn't. So I've got two options. I'm going to bring it back up a little higher temperature and I'm going to add the rest of the lime juice. Now, if this doesn't help it separate, I'm going to add a teeny bit of apple cider vinegar. And hopefully that will make it separate. Let me just stir this a bit. I'm very new to cheese making. A lot to learn. Right, but we've made cheddar and fromage blanc and feta. feta. We're, we're experimenting. I found the main thing is because sheep milk is naturally homogenized and much richer, you don't need as much of the retin, which is a, a bacteria that helps make cheeses. So we're going to see if we can't get this to separate. Then I'm going to strain it. Um, and you're straining it through this. Just a cloth. You can yeah. use cheesecloth, whatever. And then we're going to add salt and some herbs. You can add, add absolutely any herbs you want. This is going to be good on crackers, hopefully. Um, some of the Indian cheeses, they make much harder, much firmer, and they cut them into chunks. It almost looks like a tofu. Mm -hmm. And then they make that into a lot of, with curry dishes. And surprisingly, it said they do not melt yeah. the way the Indians right. make it. So we're, we're experimenting. We'll see. What else What else do you have fine over here? Well, let's see. Here's a leg of lamb for right. Easter that we're going to smoke. And, and then I saw we have some ground. Mm -hmm. So what are we just... Let it sit for actually longer than I uh, probably a half hour. Okay. And so I'm going to separate it and I've got a bowl and a colander and you can use cheesecloth. This is a linen towel. Okay. So I'm going to take the curd. Do you want me to pour it for you? Or is it well, easy? I'm going to do this first. Okay. And then we'll pour the rest through. And this, the, the liquid, uh -huh. you could dry out and use in your smoothies. Because what is a liquid? It's whey. Whey. And whey and is... And powdered whey. Protein powder. Is protein powder. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, so this is actually a raw sheep's milk whey if I wanted to add it to my smoothies, but I'm not a big dairy girl. 
But I can make you a drink with it, Mom. Oh, that would be wonderful. <laughs> and usually the way, sometimes it's a much uh, clearer. This seems, I've it is never very seen milky. One, yeah. I've never seen one this milky. So, like, what we learned from making the other cheeses, this looks like it would be good to make the ricotta out of. I'll because, have to look that up. Yeah, because the milkiness means there's still protein in there and that is, and the fat's in there and that's what the cheese is made out of. Now this is not a, this was only two quarts, a half no, a gallon. a lot. So we're not going to get a lot. Yeah, most of our recipes are with two gallons. Right. So we're going to now pour the rest of this liquid. Mm-hmm. Where? And strain it right in here. Okay. Oh, yeah, there's still a good amount in there. Okay. Yeah. So I found several different recipes, so I'm kind of combining. It's hard to find the recipes just specifically for sheep milk because seven people have sheep <laughs> <laughs> right <laughs> of course cow is most common and there are a lot more goats raised mm -hmm. so i'm going to take this up okay. and we're going to we're going to drain it until there's no no more liquid are you pressing it or are you just going to uh, hang it and let gravity it do doesn't it? say to press it much okay so we're just going to let gravity do it okay so we're going to pour this way back into the, ooh, we're not going to get much, are we? Mm -hmm. Especially since paneer is a firmer cheese, that's probably why it doesn't really melt that much. Still pretty hot. All right. What's now. the party here? We're making cheese. Party? Yeah, paneer party. Jerry, could you pour this liquid the way back into that pot? What pot? The one on the stove. The one on the stove. Here. So I see we have some ground beef here. Is this going to be hamburgers or do you have something else you're going to make with it? I don't know. It's our all go to, our two pounds of delicious home grown cow uh, hamburger. It's wonderful for hamburgers, sloppy joes, tacos, chili, anything. All right. Well, we'll check back in with you to and see if, if, this, if, if we, we have curds on right. our sheep milk to make paneer. Right.